Hi, welcome to another video from SQLMaestros.com. My name is Amit Aras Bansal and I will be your host for this video. In this video, I am going to talk about the file size of SQL Server.exe. SQL Server.exe is the executable that resides in the bin folder of your SQL Server installation directory. This is the executable that is the database engine and runs as a Windows service behind the scenes. Over the years, the file size of SQL Server.exe has been increasing. Obviously, because with every release of the product, every new release of the product, there is a lot more features and functionalities that is added to the product. So there is a lot more code. So if you look at SQL Server 2005, SQL Server 2008 or even 2008 R2, the file size of this EXE has been increasing like 45 MB, 50, 60 MB, so on and so forth. But interestingly, in SQL Server 2012 and even in 2014, you will see that the file size has drastically reduced to a few kilobytes. So what is the mystery behind the shrinking file size of SQL Server.exe? This is exactly what I'm going to demystify in this video. Let's begin. I have a couple of VMs here. There is a VM for SQL Server 2008. There is a VM for SQL Server 2008 R2, SQL 2012 and SQL 2014. Let's go to SQL 2008. If I navigate to the bin directory of SQL Server 2008 and that is the default path program files, Microsoft SQL Server, I have the version which is 10 and there is an instance SQL 2K8, MS SQL and bin. Now this is the folder where all the binary files for SQL Server would reside. And if I search for SQL Server EXE, let me type that out, SQL Server. And I will see SQL Server EXE has a file size of roughly about 57 MB. Now that is the file size in SQL Server 2008. Let me check the file size in SQL Server 2008 R2. So I would switch over to my SQL Server 2008 R2 VM and exactly in the same bin folder let me look for that file sql server.exe and i can see that the file size in sql server 2008 r2 it's roughly about 61 mb now with every uh, version every new release the file size increases is is the typical pattern I do not have a, a SQL 2005 VM, but I would assume it would be less than 50 MB. Now let's go and check the file size in SQL Server 2012. Let me switch over to my SQL 2012 VM and look for SQL Server EXE. And I can see SQL Server EXE, but surprisingly, the file size of SQL Server EXE in SQL Server 2012 is less than half a megabyte on my system it shows 188 kb which is less than half a megabyte now that's really surprising and interesting to know let us check this size in sql server 2014 so I'll, i will switch over to my sql 2014 vm and search for sql server exe and I see that the file size is more than what it was in SQL Server 2012, but still remains less than half a megabyte. So the summary here is, uh, since version SQL, uh, since version 2012, the file size has drastically reduced. So the mystery here is where is all the code gone? Why has the file size shrunk so much? Now let's try to figure this out. If I go back to my VM of uh, SQL 2012 and I want to search for all the DLLs that begin with SQL, so that's my search string there up on the screen, SQL star dot DLL. And I will find that there are two DLLs, SQL lang dot DLL and SQL min dot DLL uh, with uh, roughly uh, size about 30 MB each. So one is about 32, the other one is about 30 MB. Now these are the two DLLs that have that code which originally existed in SQL Server.exe. Now that, that makes up close to 60, 62, 64, 65 MB uh, that 
supposedly would have been the size of SQL Server .exe. So these are the two DLLs: SQL Lang .dll, SQL Min .dll. Now there are other DLLs too, but then these are the two uh, biggest uh, DLLs. Now let's <clears throat> see if these DLLs existed in uh, SQL Server 2008 or even in SQL Server 2008 R2. So if I go to switch over to my SQL 2008 VM and search for all the DLLs that begin with SQL keyword SQL, I absolutely cannot find SQL lang .dll. So let me just to be doubly sure type the entire search keyword and there is no DLL. There is no DLL which, which says SQL lang. There is no file by the name of SQL min dot DLL. So these files, these DLLs did not exist and rightly so even in SQL Server 2008 R2 these DLLs, oops sorry about that typo, SQL, D, uh, SQL lang dot DLL did not even exist in SQL Server 2008 R2. So not there. Now uh, in SQL Server, uh, so, so the summary here is since SQL Server 2012, uh, we have uh, these DLLs, the new DLLs that have come up and they have the uh, code that was there in SQL Server .exe. But uh, now let's check in SQL Server 2014. Uh, and of course, I would assume that these DLLs and let's go and Put that keyword, search phrase SQL star dot DLL, and you will find that SQL. Uh, wow, there are a lot of DLLs out there. So there, there you are: SQL lang dot DLL and SQL min dot DLL. So SQL lang dot DLL uh, is is again roughly about thirty plus MB, but SQL min dot DLL is wow, it's about sixty, roughly sixty two MB, uh, more than sixty MB. And uh, I assume that, so let me, let me, let me tell you what exactly do these DLLs contain. So SQL lang .dll contains the, uh, the query processing engine code and, uh, the execution code. Uh, so I assume that that would, that would be the relational engine code that is contained in SQL lang .dll. And SQL min .dll contains the database services code, uh, things like checkpoint, the lazy writer, et cetera. And one of the reasons uh, I believe why SQL min.dll has doubled the size of what it was in SQL uh, 2012 uh, could be because of the new engine code of in-memory tables or what, what we popularly call as in-memory OLTP. So I think that code is what is there in SQL min.dll. So in this quick video, I wanted to demystify the shrinking file size of SQL server.exe. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you can share it. You can learn more about us on sqlmaestros.com. Our Twitter handle is sqlmaestros. Facebook URL is slash sqlmaestros. If you want to learn more about me, you can visit amitbansal.net. You can follow me on Twitter at the rate a underscore bansal and on Facebook slash amitrsbansal.